Hello and welcome, my name is Leanne Peard and this is Absolute Wisdom's Young Entrepreneurs and I would like to introduce to you the wonderful Bradley Ritzy sitting here next to me and we're going to have a talk today with Bradley in regards to how he has been so successful in business at such a young age and um, he's going to share with us some of the the trials and tribulations he's encountered being a self-employed person from the age of 17 and he's going to also share with us his wins and how now at 21 he is earning over hundred thousand dollars a year and working less than 26 hours a week so Bradley thank you very much for joining me here today at Absolute Wisdom on our Young Entrepreneurs um, channel can you please share with us a little bit about your life I mean even though you haven't been here that long but would you like to share <laughs> Well, thanks for that. Um, don't even know what to say. Um, well, my name is Bradley. I started probably about three years ago. I started a business called Strips and Stripes, which is just signage, like doing so, like car signing, business signing, that, which I still kind of do today, just a bit of a hobby. And then about a year and a half ago, I started Ozone Cleaning Services, which is just doing commercial cleaning businesses and that. Um, just got an idea one day that I thought I sat down for a fair bit and worked out what I wanted to do and where I wanted to go and what I wanted in my life. So I sat down and worked out like hours I want to work when I wanted to work and and looked at a lot of other people's businesses to work out what kind of business I want to be in and I came up with that and it gives me a lot of repeat business because it's just weekly and fortnightly cleaning kind of thing so it's always there. It's not like other jobs where I found in my sign business you'd do some kind of signage and you wouldn't have that client then for another year until they'd come back and get more signage done for their vehicles or whatever. So with the cleaning it's very structured you could say and it's, it's what I wanted and that's took me a long time to find that. And doing the work is one part but I really like the, the business side of it, not not so much the clean, doing cleaning but the... Mm. That's that's cool. The business Thanks. aspect of it, you could say. So. That's cool, Brad. So what I heard you say, you actually like working on your business rather than in it, and you prefer yeah. to have people work for you. So do you have any stuff? Yeah, one at the moment, so, and that's obviously going to increase. So, um, yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying. So if you if you were, um, is, is it true? I heard that uh, you finished school in year twelve and you were about 17 years old and you didn't have any idea of what you wanted to do? Like, as far as... Still don't. <laughs> Still yeah, don't. No, no. Um, yeah, I worked at Woolworths um, the last year of school and and then when I finished, um, you guys had a vinyl cutter that you were using for your business, um, real estate business, doing um, putting people's phone numbers that onto the real estate sign, so with that, I was doing that for you, so I just thought, why not market that aspect and just start doing vehicle signage and that, and it, within six months it took off and I didn't have to work. I just, when I got out of school, it was there and I was making, you know, 30, 40 grand a year just doing stickers and it's only gone, it only got busier and now I've stepped back a bit with that and don't really, I just do it and help the clients already got out as a bit of a hobby thing on the side. and. And then stepped into his own cleaning services, and that's just taken off from there. So, mm, congratulations! Two years. It's so, how did you? And I'm sure a lot of people are out there thinking about this. How did you create two successful businesses? Did you do a diploma in business, or did you do a certificate for a business, or did you have any qualification? Oh, I probably should have, but um, no, we've done a lot of um, a lot of courses like Anthony Robbins. Like you're a coach, so. That helps a bit, and yeah, just I think at, any, if, at the end of the day, if you want to do something, you'll do it, and you'll find a way to do it. So, you know, I'm no sign writer, but at the the machine was there, and you'll only make you'll only fuck up so many times before you don't fuck up anymore because it starts to cost money. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you we'll get learn really to, quick. We'll have to beat those out. So, Brad, it was it easy? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I got to do what I wanted to do, you know, I still do what I want to do when I want to do it, so it's not that, like it has its hard days because, you know, at the start it's hard 
managing the money because you know if you start off with nothing you slowly get more and more and more um yeah you know you're scratching to get this materials and do this and do that but if you manage it correctly it, it worked really well and and within six to twelve months easily um by doing some of this like the systems i put in place and, and good customer uh, feedback and you know always relying with the customers and um if they're happy you know they're always going to come back which is good and then you know you're always chasing work chasing work chasing work and then it gets to a point where the work just slowly starts keep coming in and comes in and just builds on and gets busier and busier so mm. so am i hearing you correctly um when you said that obviously you've got some really good systems in place yeah. and um it does take a little while for any new business to it, it's not it's not going to happen the success is not going to happen overnight however um if you're determined and do keep focusing on the systems i.e like you did a lot of marketing i know you, you yeah. decided what you could do for marketing that eventually the clients start coming into that funnel that sales funnel and you um then start generating some serious money and can pay yourself a wage yeah well when a couple of people told me in business that it exactly that just reminded me about the funnel idea that you just start putting drops in at the top and slowly it's not it's going to take a bit for the drops to drop out of the bottom of the funnel but when they do they you get one drop and then two drops and while you're still putting drops in the top you know and some you'll get frustrated easily about oh, i'm doing all this work and i'm not getting any you know any um return your return or you know i can't see any results out of it but if you just keep doing it, it will happen, you know. And you need to keep dropping in the top, and then you slowly get one drop out of the bottom, two drops, three drops, four drops, and then they just get more constant and turns into a stream. And then you've got to, but it all goes so also goes back to the same thing. You've got to keep putting it in the top, you know. You can't just market for six, six or like market and you know do all your um, advertising for six months and have heaps of business coming in and stop because. Mm. Obviously, then there's no water going in the top of the funnel, and there's nothing coming out the bottom, and then the slowly dries up. So you always got to be on top of that and keep on there. That's that's a must. Mm. So how important is it? Do you think um, mindset? Like you said, it's quite easy to be frustrated and become disheartened because you're doing all this work sometimes as a small business owner, and you just can't see the forest for the trees. So how important is it to stay focused and have you know that? that mindset of you know that you can achieve it was that important for you um yeah I, at the start i set pretty clear goals like with the sign business it was pretty just up and down you just took it every day but then when i started ozone cleaning services it i sat down and went this is where i want to go this is where i want to be this is how i want to do it this and the big one of the biggest thing is this is why i want to do it you know it's easy to go you want a million dollars a year why and is that a million dollars a year business turnover or is that a business uh, is that a million dollars a year you know net for yourself or you know you've got to sit down and go um for example one of mine was i want a million dollars a year um net income for my like it's I mean, there's a little bit of a blurry area but just every day i'm sharpening it up but a million dollars a year income for myself which will allow me to do all the things that i like and there's a list of you know, spend more time with family, da -da -da -da, give give more away, give more of your time to other people and, you know, help people out. So the, the biggest thing there was I want to earn that and I want to do that in this many years because of this. I think that's mm. the key to it. it. It's easy to say you want to earn a million dollars, but if there's no why, you won't do it. Very true, very true. So you've set clear goals for ozone cleaning yeah, um, and, and, myself, and yeah. in your life. Yeah, that's right. And um, I know personally that when you set a goal, um, it actually happens pretty quickly, doesn't it? Yeah, like, like just for an example, just last week, I'm to a point now where I'm looking for more customers to put another person on full time and just go, just, you know, it's to a point now where you just think and go, okay, you some, it's, it's good to write them down, but for this example, I just, just thought about it. I said, okay, by the end of next week, um, I need two new clients worth 40 grand, worth, a total of 40 grand worth of new work, obviously from two new clients. Whether you get three clients or one client worth that, it doesn't really matter, but you want 40 grand by the end of, now for me, 40 grand is per year. So 
I want a new client that's going to stick around for a year and their cleaning is going to be worth 40 grand a year or three clients that their cleaning adds up to be 40 grand a year. So that is a goal is a goal I set just in my head. I haven't put it on paper. And, and within the last week, I've done two quotes and both of them look like they may be coming through and there's a potential for 23 or 24 grand just in there. And how? I don't know. You, you, I don't know, it just turned up, you know, I'm just doing the same marketing and everything I have been doing, but it's just because you set that intention and then with the good attitude and vibe that you put out and you go into these businesses, they, how do you say, you know, they pick up on that and they accept you. Mm. You know, most people go, oh, you're only young, dumb, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, but if you get get around that, it's a lot of people have that, a lot of young people have that problem. Uh, if you get around that and go in with a positive attitude and everything like which you're on a bit of a high from obviously getting the phone call for the new jobs or the new clients or whatever if you get in it, it all helps you know it, it, it creates a automatic re relationship with the customer you know when you go in they're happy mm, fantastic awesome fantastic effort i'm extremely proud of you so brian if you were to share your secrets to success which you've shared a few um what would they be? What could you tell any young person out there today that's thinking about, you know, leaving school and they have this wonderful dream of becoming, you know, whatever it is for them? What would you say to them? Um, well, when I left school, one of my good mates still today, who I only knew, he get, he also gave me an opportunity to do, like when I first started the sign business, to do signage on his trucks and that, you know, which was really good starter, you know, and. Not many people give young people that go, you know, and I was willing to learn, you know, it, we, we did make a couple of mistakes, don't get me wrong along the way, but when you find someone like that that wants to give, you know, that gives you time of day and helps you out, that then turned into I was doing part-time work for him on the side while I was doing my, um, doing the signs and then it kind of phased out, the signs got busier and the busy day got the less work day i done with him and then now to this day we, we're really good mates and um, and yeah, then, then then I use that sign business then to, it's busy like this and then they've slowly kind of started my cleaning business and it's, it's gone the other way then, you know, the cleaning got really busy and I've just dropped off on the sign and stuff, but it's helped me fund everything. So I, I guess this, the, I don't even know what it is, it's a... What would you tell them to do? Yeah, it, you got to go, give, just give it a go, I guess, is the main thing, but also it's going, to, it's going to be hard, you know, there's no doubt about that. It's not going to be a walk in the park, you know, you've got to work. But you've got to also allow that you, the hard work will pay off if you stick at it. Like a lot of people go in and expect, I know we're just talking to you about some of your other clients and that. They go in, they go, oh, okay, I've put a hundred uh, flies out in the mailbox. And then they go home and sit on the desk and wait for the phone to ring. Well, you go home, put another thousand off and go put another thousand out, you know. And then after you've got four or five thousand, the phone may start ringing. So don't expect because you think because you start the business that it's just going to be automatically busy. You know, it's going to take a lot of hard work and that to get it to a point where you can then step back and put people in and then manage manage people. I guess to do the work. So. Mm. And I know that you're always learning, aren't you? You're always learning whether you know. Th there's a saying that if you want to, to if you want to go to the road of self discovery you should start a business. And I know that Bradley's always um, always learning, you know, whether it's learning with staff or learning how to communicate or learning procedures or policies, whatever it is. And that's the key too, I think, is the fact that you're not scared to have a go. And the biggest thing, like, you get a lot of people say, some young guy, he's just, he's just he's been a mechanic and finished his apprenticeship or something, for an example, and then he goes and starts his um, a mechanic business, you know. In sense, I probably should have done that. I'm not qualified as a sign writer, nor got any qualifications in business or, or cleaning or anything like that. But just go out and give it a go. It's not hard to learn, you know. And you just get around the right people, and you know, it's these days YouTube is big, you know. If you want to learn something, just go on look on YouTube. Yeah. You know, there's people that are teaching it every because day. So unfortunately, in the industry you're in, you might find one or two people because you're young to help you or mentor you. But most people, especially up here where we are, they feel threatened, I guess, which is a good thing because <laughs> it means you're doing something right. That's um, true. 
yeah, so I d the biggest thing is just give it a go and dream big. You're going to be young, you're going to make mistakes, don't worry about that. Just yeah. But dream big, I think. I, I think, you know, and that goes for anyone regardless of what age. Just uh, if you have a dream, dream big and, and work towards getting that dream happening for you, whatever, yeah. you, whatever your platform is. And sometimes business is not for everybody, but sometimes it is. Sometimes we have a burning desire that we want to do something specifically because, we're of, a, because of gifts that we have. So, um, yeah, the advice I would say to any young person, and I actually coach a lot of young PTs, personal trainers, is if that's your dream and your passion, go for it. And um, make sure you've got the right systems in place and yeah. you've got your clear goals. You've got to be clear of where you're going. Uh, otherwise, you, you'll find it more difficult to get there. But um, any other tips? Yeah, no, just, um, like, don't get me wrong, at the start, I didn't have anything. You know, you have an idea, I went and bought a vacuum cleaner, mop, you know, I was doing it out of a ute. And now, you know, as you got busy, I moved into a, a car and two vans, and then you just, it just escalates, you know, but you've got to do the hard yards first, I guess, is the biggest thing, you know. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, just give it a go. But the, with the, the thing with the systems is that, you know, this week, you get a new client, so you create a, you know, a, I don't know, Depends on, policy yeah, or whatever. depends on business and you know, a, a document about how to keep record of your client uh, and next week you do a policy on how to um, keep in touch with them and make sure they're happy then you know and by the end of it you do all these procedures then you put them together and there you've got your and so then when you do take a step back if anything happens it's all paper you know and you um, yeah like this form that form it all just takes time and mm -hmm. I think that's one thing you have to do. You can't just expect. Well, obviously, you can go buy them and that, which is another option as well. So. Yeah, yeah. And Brad, um, I believe that you've just uh, launched your first um, online business. What is it called? Business starter package or mindset business mindset package? Um, yeah, business mindset and um, and I don't know. I've got it written down somewhere. Um, business mindset and. Um, Fundamentals for Young Entrepreneurs, I think it's called, so. Mm, fantastic. And that is an online course which ha covers uh, things like work-life balance, because I think that's very important. Yeah. Otherwise, if you're working for yourself, you can become burnt out very quickly, hey? Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, you got to get in, get it to a point where then you can step back, because if you keep... So, some people do enjoy that, just going and working their 30 or 40 hours a week and making their... Fifteen hundred, two grand a week, and not having to worry. But you know, like most young people, want more. So to do that, you got to. Otherwise, there's no time in that thirty to forty hour week to build the business. So you have to go. Like within six months, I went from doing that. I think we're doing like forty something hours a week myself. To then get a new client, put someone on, and step back to only twenty something, you know, and give someone another twenty five hours or whatever it worked out to be. So. And then that then allows me more time to get more clients, keep all the clients I got happy, as well as all the other stuff, you know, you do, you run around and everything like that because, mm. so. Mm, fantastic. And also in the course, um, Brad um, has, it talks about goal setting and um, time management, which is something yep. that many businesses uh, suffer. And also procrastination because we, we are, you know, we, we all find time to do everything we want to do other than those tasks that we need to do for our business. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that course brand is worth how much? It's $97, I think, yep, online. Yep. And it's a six-week course, I think. So, And, yep. and there's a lot more other stuff coming. So a lot more other video series and stuff like that coming. So if you keep in touch and, you know, now, now I've got free time. I wanted to teach everyone show everyone how you do it you know because the idea behind this is how to go from um how to go from nothing to, to 100 to 150 thousand dollars a year in two years or so or how long is a year and a half 18 months or whatever it is so you know it's it's easily done but you just got to put the time and effort in now to a point where we can step it step out and teach other people how to do what i've done which is it's not hard so and I think the biggest thing too um, that Brad shared with me a couple of years ago was after doing a lot of um, a lot of seminars and a lot of personal development work, Brad would always come back and say, 
you know, that speaker was fantastic or that course was fantastic. But the, court, the, the speaker would always say, I've reached $10 million a year or I've reached $5 million a year. And Brad would always say, well, how did they get from zero to 100? Yeah, it, all, it didn't show that first step, you know. Like they go, oh, I've done hard, I've, got, I've been broke. And in the first two or three years, I've got to a million dollars a year. You know, unfortunately, you have to get from the zero to a hundred thousand dollars to give yourself time and more, uh, more money, I guess, because you know, more backing to then go f from that hundred thousand to a million dollars a year. You know, I think that's one step, and the, the zero to a hundred is one step as well. You know, because you know, you, some some people can do it really quickly. Some people it's going to take longer than a year. It may take three years. Some people it may take six months because you know it all depends on how how passionate about it they are and how far you want to push it and how quick you want it to happen. So, But in saying that, I've also seen people go from zero to heaps of money and then back to zero really quickly, you know, because they don't know how, for the exact same thing as a system, you know, they've got all this money, so they're going, oh, how do I get busy? I'm just going to advertise, 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 and whether advertising isn't, you know, ideal for their market, so they've just wasted 10 grand there and they waste 10 grand here, and they're not getting any more, you know, more customers. So even stuff straight like down to a, a marketing plan of, you know, you've got to then spend so much, see if it works, and then if it works and you get your percentages, like your social media stuff and, you know, like your vehicle signage, newspaper, phone books and all that, you know, you've got to, you've got to manage it. For an example, in my, for my business, the phone book doesn't really work because you only have, so I'm like 15 to 20 clients at the moment I've got and they're all worth X amount a year whereas if you're in a, a mechanical business you'd have four or five clients per day you know and they're always turning over whereas mine it's this many clients and you've got to keep them clients you know so mm. it's not like the phone rings every day for someone looking for a commercial cleaner it's they ring once every month you know and you get a new person every month rather than every two or three you know, two or three people a day. Mm. So. so this course has come about because of Brad's um, noticing that there was a huge gap in the market, especially for young people wanting to go into business. Um, so congratulations on that, Brad. And the other thing that I think is really, really important, and um, I'm hoping that I don't offend Bradley by saying this, but, um, you know, life has not been easy, Brad, has it? It's no. not like a bed of roses. We, we um, I'm still a single mother, and majority of their life of the, the kids, if you haven't worked out, Bradley's my son, um, we have been single and, you know, times have been tough and, you know, we, you've got the stories of, yes, we fell on, you know, the bones of our ass at some stage, but that didn't change Bradley or his, or Amy's, my daughter, um, or mine, it didn't change anything about us except for we thought, how can we, how can we do this better? So, you know, having a 17 year old son go out on the business on his own, and as a parent, giving him that support that he needed. I never once said, you can't do this. It was more like, well, how can we make this work for you? And I think that's the key to any parent uh, wanting to give you know, their kids the best that they can is being there and saying, well, how can I help you? Because this is your dream. And if they fall over, that's okay, hey? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, one, I suppose it's more my beliefs than anything else is, you know, you see a lot of people that go out and their kid wants to start something, so they chat you know, X amount of dollars at it. But the kid's got no, it's just a you beautiful idea half the time about, I want to do this, it's going to be cool to my mate, or, you know, I want to, I want to start a business, but they don't understand, well, they, you got to go to work now. You know, it's not that, oh, I own a business, I can just sit at home and tell people what to do, you know. Because you go broke pretty quick, if you haven't got the work to support someone, or you don't have the systems and everything in place, then, but this person that you've got working for you needs to know how to do it, what to do, when to do it, you know. And you've got to be a good communicator, I guess, with them and everything like that, you know. So it's not just a, oh, I'll go buy this, employ one person or two people, and I'll be right, I don't have to work. It's not how it is, you know. You have to be passionate about you. Because it, it then turns from a job into a, um, I don't even know what it's called, you know. You, you're, you're working, you yeah, living the dream. Yeah. You don't think of the work as a um, as work as such. It's more of a um, a lifestyle, you know. So you don't worry about you know if someone's having a day off or something like that. I don't worry about going in and getting on the you know tools as such. And then it doesn't worry me because I enjoy that and I can see the outcome and benefits and that 
one thing you have to relate to your staff as well. So mm, yeah, fantastic. But also, yeah, it, it just goes back to the same thing: give it a go. You know, it's, mm, live your dream. And if you want to do it, it's not hard. No, it's not hard to do anything. They say that the first. Um, the, the first thing that you do is create thought in your mind and then take action. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, Brad, I don't know if we've got anything else to share with everyone, but I just want yeah. to say thank you very, very, very much for taking the time out to share what you know at a very young age with young yeah. entrepreneurs. And um, I think that a lot of young people would find it beneficial chatting to you. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, that you can buy the program off Brad, you can have a chat to him, find him on Facebook. He'd be more than happy to, um, you know, have a little chat with you or yep. maybe, yeah. There's the website too, bradlibruti.com.au, have a look on there, you know, this video, and that's where the course will be, as well as yours, Absolute Wisdom. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and it's also beneficial for parents, I guess, from the point of view that, that, that that'll be the next thing we're talking about, how I, from a parent's point of view, how I see it, and how their kids, you know, it's all good, you know, most parents want their kids to do something and they push them towards something, but if the kid don't want to do it, they're not going to do it, you mm -hmm. know, or they're going to do it for a bit, but they're not going to do it well, not, you know, like yeah. he, the kid goes, oh, I don't want to ride motorbikes, but, you know, I want to, you know, dance or something, dad goes, no, you, you're a, you ride motorbikes and the kid's going to do a ride out of it because he's always done it, but until dad goes away and he's going to go back and do what he wants to do. So it's easy to find out what they want to do and yeah. support them. That's right. So the next episode we're talking about doing is um, the one with the three of us. So it'll be Amy, myself and Bradley. And we're going to have a bit of a yarn as, um, as to how I ended up with two amazing kids. So I don't really know how that happened yet, but I'm sure they're going to shed some light on that. <laughs> It'll be a funny one to watch. So thanks for, thanks for sticking around with us today. Thanks, Brad, for wanting Thank to you. share your knowledge with other young um, entrepreneurs. And that's it from me, Leanne, Absolute Wisdom. Thank you. And Bradley. Ciao. See you, bye. <laughs> Hello and welcome, my name's Leah. <laughs> you might hear me on the fucking microphone. How come I don't have a microphone? <laughs> I'll have to pass it to you. Hang on then. Hang on. So what did you say, Brad? <laughs> Wait there. Sorry, I can't hear probably. <laughs> so Brad, tell me about your life. <laughs> no not what is it set up? It's set up. Okay, wait a minute. The end kids ever kid abuse. Per. Okay, wait. Five out on the straight face. Can't even help now. Oh, that's right. Oh, let's run the whole way. You ready? I think you're very far away. <laughs> Do you want me to sit closer? No, 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 it's alright. I just think it's the couch. <laughs> Okay. Right, don't, don't tell anyone I'll catch you here every afternoon while I'm sleeping on it. <laughs> okay, right, you ready? Yes. Okay. Right. That wasn't that clear, I want to do that again. Are you serious? That was awesome. That was I'm awesome. I can sleep here. Yes. Where's the little fluffy thing? What the? Oh, mate, we can do it again. I thought that was brilliant. My battery. Oh, you stopped that, I hope not.